On the tropics, still nothing to worry about for us in the Gulf. It looks like the Gulf is going to stay quiet. Caribbean staying quiet, but Hurricane Lee is expected to continue to grow. It is a hurricane this morning. It's probably going to rapidly intensify over the next couple of days. The current track, no big changes in thinking here, which is good news for the Caribbean islands from the Dominican Republic to Puerto Rico to the Virgin Islands. You can see the core of that massive hurricane staying to the north there. Now it will send large swells and waves, but missing the worst of the winds and surge. Notice near category five strength or forecasting right on the cusp of a cat five by Saturday and Sunday, and then it begins to slow down some into early next week. Now this part of the forecast we're fairly confident in. It's the end here. Once we get into Tuesday, it slows down and then that's when we're expecting that turn. But where does the turn happen? Does it come closer to the Turks and Caicos or does it take the more northerly pack and uh, maybe make a beeline for the island nation of Bermuda. So here's what we're going to be watching. It's right around the ridge of high pressure for now. That's why the confidence is high in the forecast. But once we get into next week, we're talking Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday begins to slow down and then make that turn. Now where that turn happens and how strong the ridge of high pressure is, how strong that trough of low pressure is to the uh, over the east coast is going to determine where it tracks once it starts to make that northerly turn. You can see our models a widespread over the next seven to 10 days. This isn't this weekend, but next weekend could have a storm somewhere in the part, this part of the Atlantic, maybe moving to the north. So that's why we're still saying New England portions of the Canadian Maritimes need to be keeping an eye on this. Hopefully it threads in between these two features and stays out to sea, but that is still not a guarantee. Remember that's seven to 10 days away. There are still quite a bit of uncertainties in a forecast that far out. So here's what I'm doing. If I live in the Turks and Caicos or Southern Bahamas, I'm still keeping an eye on this with that slowing down and turning. You got to make sure it turns just right to miss you. Bermuda certainly keeping an eye on this and then anywhere up the East Coast, mainly the Northern East Coast and especially New England and parts of Canada. Once you get up towards the Canadian Maritimes, really keeping an eye on this in the next seven to 10 days. And fortunately, that is a long time when you're looking at a tropical feature, so you have plenty of time to watch it, but there is still quite a bit of uncertainty there. Once again, not an issue.